There's always an anniversary of some albums. I love that the fans pay attention to that more than I do. If it's an anniversary, it means it's important. So yeah, Black Album. It seems like not too long ago, but it is a while ago. You know, when we started off, it just we just wanted to be four guys jamming in a room and not having to check in or clock in to the factory. The fact that it's, you know, well, 34, 35 years later, and we're still out there touring and, and having a good time at it. There's lots to be grateful for, a lot. Hooking up with the right people business-wise, uh, you know, obviously the right companies and the right people who share the vision of what we want. Love inventors, love people that go out of the box, out of the norm, and want to do things to help an artist make a vision come true. You know, besides all of the crunch and super heavy stuff, the uh, clean sound super important to me. Developing a clean pickup that had dynamics, had uh, power. I love the passive pickup dynamic but I love the power and the active pickup. So combining those two together, we did it. We tried uh, many, many, many things. So it was like a two-year process to get the headset together. I'll tell you, we're recording right now, and there's number one guitar, there's the number two guitar, there's the number three, you know, and here's the, the third track guitars that just sound different. They all sound different. When I get a guitar, I don't even second guess, you know, so obviously put the headset in it and then we'll see what the guitar sounds like. Because I know what the headset sounds like. I remember at the NAM show, just walking around, going in and seeing all the stuff and going up to somebody at uh, uh, ESP saying, hey, can you guys make a Explorer type shape? I said, well, sure, you know, I want the headstock bigger. I want it to look like a hockey stick. They're like, we can do that. <laughs> and that was the beginning of the relationship. You know, me asking and them saying yes. This one here, it came out of the car world, you know, and rat rods and, you know, people taking old cars, restoring them. The last thing they can't afford is the paint, that the paint has history with it with the different layers of paint. And then when this guy owned it, it was white and then red, you know, being repainted and it's kind of over the years, just worn down and worn through. So this was basically from a car. The Iron Cross came out from an idea. I had an old, I think a 74 Gibson Les Paul. It was a motorcycle that I was building uh, at the time, the Saga, and this was, you know, basically an iron cross that we're putting on the tanks, the gas tanks. And I had a couple extra ones. So I just kind of was goofing around and just, you know, bolted onto the guitar, you know, with some old brass standard screws. Love it. Love it. Looks like it's been through World War II right here. <laughs> World War I even. But it's a it's a war horse and it's awesome. Yeah, the snake bite. Love. Love this guitar. Thinner than your traditional Explorer shape. And yeah, I designed this well, just out of drawings and then on Photoshop. And I wanted a shape that was different enough to uh, still feel good and balanced on my body, but look more interesting. So obviously the Metallica kind of barb uh, has shown up here a couple spots and little contours here uh, gives it some depth and it's a lot lighter. It's just an awesome weapon. <laughs> Unbelievable to be sitting here thinking, wow, I designed a guitar. Well, well I won't, I'm not gonna take all the credit, obviously, but taking a classic shape, redesigning, and, and then thinking of an idea for uh, developing a clean pickup that had dynamics, had uh, power, and, and have it sit here in a guitar, me recording uh, you know, an album after 35 years with it, awesome. To have been a part of something that has blossomed into something really great and with people that deserve it because they're good people. Matt and ESP, they're always there, they're easy to get on the phone and if something's needed, it's there. And Rob is one of those at EMG and he is, uh, he's a mad scientist. 
I tell you, this combination is heaven for me right here.